I think there's a guy that everybody knows, Murray Warmath, would say, if lessons are learned in defeat, our team is getting a great education. So I'll use a guy that's a legend to, to very much tell you how I feel about things. So uh, we didn't do very well, and uh, maybe we got an education. We'll see. Well, you can't change anything physical. We, 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 uh, whoever it is uh, runs five flat, runs five flat. If he can't bench, he benches 265 pounds and his opponent's benching 330. We can't change that today. That's over time, okay? But the one thing is, is we can change this or what you believe in. And, and can I go do it? And will I go do it? And can I, you know, I'm going to play hard. You know, I talk to our kids, and I tell you, tell you right now, a couple of them is that as soon as University of Michigan went boom, boom, boom and scored, I think our kids went, oh, no, here we go. That's, the, that's our M.O. And so we get, you got to fight out of that M.O. But I'm trying to change a mentality uh, that's been embedded a little bit, and it's not easy to do. I mean, it's the same thing every place I've ever been. I mean, I suppose if this was a great job, I wouldn't be here. It's what I've been, you know what I'm saying? I mean, somebody had somebody else hired. You know, it's a tough job for tough people in tough times. When I was at uh, Southern Illinois and, you know, same old thing, you know, when I was at Southern Illinois, they talked about, oh, drop the program and this and that, and they ain't ever going to get it done, and they're getting, you know, this is happening and that's happening, and now, you know, like I said, now they got a brand new stadium and things went pretty well, and I just have to tune all that out. I got to worry about what I was brought here to do, and that's to take care of those kids and make them men. We have lots of work to do. I don't have a press conference long enough to tell you what needs to take place here. There's a lot, okay? I can tell you there's been extreme amount of progress because right now we got everybody going to class. Yeah, that's pretty good. Being that uh, we had guys that played the whole year last year and most, some of them didn't go to class, I'd say that's a huge improvement. That's why the, we're in the mess we're in. Let's don't French paste it. It is what it is. Barry Alvarez went through it at Wisconsin. You know, Bo Schembechler did something when he went to the University of Michigan. Look at those two schools. I think when uh, uh, Barry Alvarez took the job, he said he wanted to be like Nebraska. So, you know, we all want to be somebody. You set your souls where you need to be, and that's where you got to go to, and that's what we need to do. But those people didn't get there overnight. I can tell you that. She comes down after the game, and I'm down there, and she knows how I am. She walks over, puts her arm around her, Dad, you doing okay? And I said, hell no. And she goes, gosh darn. It's hard to watch. That's my daughter. She says, hard for you to watch, coach? I go, yeah, Toss, it is. She goes, right where you want to be. You'll get them going. Love you, Dad. End of conversation. Cobb fumbled the football, you know, made a cut, fumbled the ball. A guy picks it up and runs, you know, going another distance. And, and got, you find out who's going to play hard and who's not. I watched, I watched Marcus Jones and Tufts and John Rabby and three or four other guys. I mean, they were on a dead sprint all the way to the goal line. You know, all the way to the goal line. And then we had three or four that that's why we're not, you know, we have no room for error. That's what I call playing hard.